Okay, so here we are uh, with not the most flattering video in the world with my uh, lockdown physique. Um, so this is uh, there's one of the trackers on one of my delightful clogs. So this is really just to kind of show you how to set up the uh, Vive Mocap Pro Kit. So I'm running the scene in the Vive Mocap Pro Kit. Um, so I've just slowed it down here because what you need to do here is just skip through the menus to calibrate. Um, and then if you look on the bottom middle, so I'm really just putting myself into a T pose, uh, as handsome as that looks. Uh, so, and then if you press the right trigger, what happens is it'll drop a, it's quite hard to see, but you'll, if you look bottom middle, it just drops in a UE4 mannequin. And then the next thing you've got to do is you need to match up your position. So I'm looking down at my feet and the trackers need to, the trackers need to be sitting on top of each foot. So I'm just moving into position. So, and then if you just make sure that your hands and your feet are in the correct position, then what happens if you press the right trigger again, it should then do what it's doing there as it activates um, the actual mocap. So I haven't got the greatest, the clearest setup here. So the chest uh, tracker um, keeps flipping it keeps turning off so it keeps the best sessions keep failing to recognize the um chest tracker so you can see here that um i look a bit like liam gallagher uh with i've got a kind of uh a manchester uh cool slouch going on because um the chest tracker isn't quite in the right position um so it hasn't been calibrated entirely correctly so you can adjust that so I'm just testing a few moves here, and a nice kind of thing with this kit is that uh, is to some degree better than Orion is that um, it you can you can uh, you can rotate your uh, hand controllers to adjust the orientation of the arms. So you can really to some degree make sure your hands are facing the right way, so you can see we're we're flipping out there. Um, so I'm going to run you the actual proper tracker video after this. Uh, ludicrous carry on um, so you can actually see the the mocap uh, as it has been captured so it keeps flipping out because it is effectively just keeps um losing some of the trackers so i have to keep stopping and wait for it to pick up the the chest tracker again but if you look at the fact that i am partially concealing the chest tracker and i'm still kind of getting the a crossed arm um position it's doing a pretty good job and you can also add more trackers which i think i'll be trying next so here i'm just kind of trying to see how it works um at speed um i'm old so that is at speed for me uh but you know it's doing a pretty good job i should say you press the right trigger once you're in that scene to start recording and then you press it again to stop recording so uh you can see it's, there's four versions of yourself um which is slightly odd because you obviously have to keep turning your head around to uh, see what uh, one of your avatars is doing. But it's all the same avatar, so you can see it from four different angles. Um, so, uh, I probably need to get a shirt that actually fits uh, and stop eating pies would be two of the tips to my future self. Um, so... Yeah, I'm just hopefully going to just turn it off in a moment and move over to the actual capture. Uh, but yeah, it's. I think I've just turned it off. Yeah, so you just press the right trigger again, turns it off. Okay, so just to show you what it is in the actual UE4 editor, so if you go down to records or records even, uh, you just check the time, so that's the, the one we're talking about, so double click that. And it's just basically a series of animation frames. Um, so I'm going to look at how you adjust these, clean them up, and take them into various packages and uh, and nice dancing Andy uh, and re uh, replace the character effectively. So I'm going to look at all these things in further videos. But this is really just kind of to show you how to set it up because there's not a lot of um, there's not a lot of uh, tutorial videos online, so I've kind of pieced these together from a few of them. Um, ideally, you you need one on your chest and one on your pelvis, a tracker, for it to be able to uh, accurately reflect any spinal movements. So really, it'd be nice to get some more trackers in 
um, and kind of test how precise it is because it's doing really well. Um, it's actually doing better than uh, a previous Mercat package that we spent one and a half thousand pounds on. Uh, the only slight issue is the fact that I've got this sort of swagger. Anyway, there you go.